Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Vinansi Modvi and today we are going to learn how can we see the posted year-end increase or you can say how can we view closing increase in Navision or Business Center. Concept is same in Navision and Business Center. So let's get started. You can see here this is the chat of its count screen area. So to reach here, you need to use the following path or you can directly use the search box, type chart of account and get it. Get it into the account of this screen. This is called chart of account screen. So to view closing entries, if you were closed last year income statement by running the income statement back shop, you can easily find your closed income statement entries by using this way which I am going to describe but if you were not posted you need to post first. So here we need to check with the income statement. You can assign the income statement option also assign the filter with the limit total filter you can uh, add uh, the date filter if you want to assign the date and if you want to filter here for the income statement because we want to check close income statement entries the closing entries related with the last year profit and loss account which was shifted to the balance sheet as a reserve profit saved for the next year or for profit used for the surplus purpose, uh, reserved and surplus purpose on the future work of the company. So we can uh, check here by assigning the date. So system will show you the ledger entries. You can check through ledger entries also. System will represent that closing entries uh, including the uh, initial letter C but to view that kind of increase in a very easiest way you need to click here here when in the GL balance button so this is the screen see closing entries option showing include you can check there are two options include and exclude so if you want to see the entries you need to click on include so this is the GL balance wise entries and the closing entries was posted through the close income batch statement program and that batch program only included income statement entries those GLs under which you have assigned the account type as income statement. I'll show you. See, first we need to assign some kind of filter here. So, there are three tabs, home action and navigate. We can check from where we can assign the filter. So, we can use this and we can check the income statement. We can type here as um, statement. See. So, from here we can search and if you want to check the debit credit total, the group total, see. The impact of uh, this total, I'll show you with another example. Yeah, this is the good, good one. So, see, debit and credit amount, okay. So, if the credit amount exceeded compared to debit, it will show with the clubbed amount and if you Click on the debit and credit total, it will show separately the higher amount and the lesser amount and the ledger will sum up 
sum up with the total of excess amount. So you can check with this way and if you don't want to, don't enable it. Next, view by. If you want to check this entry by month, by day, by week, by quarter, by year, you can use this year as a fiscal year. And if you want to use accounting period, January to December as a calendar period, you can use this. So I'm going to use this. If I have the closing date information, I can put or system will fetch the information from the close entries also because I have chosen the include option. So now in the income statement, we can work with the period changes for the period changes. So we can view as net change and for the balance sheet purpose, you can use as on date with the as on date functionality means balance at date. So for income statement, we can use this. And what kind of uh, ledger sales will show in the income statement, you can also check. Let uh, take an example of consulting fees. So click on the navigate button, click on the card, then system will get into the card. You can view or edit, see the ledger number, the ledger name, income balance, income balance, income statement, accounting type of posting. That's why this is a posting jail. If you can choose here the balance sheet system, the batch program of close income statement will not include this ledger if you choose balance sheet. So always choose income statement if you want to include this GL account into the income statement set of income statement batch program, close income, close income statement run batch program. If you want to include this ledger into that program to close your uh, one year increase for a particular uh, period and for at the particular period end, you need to choose income statement here in the income balance option. And you can see this is the expenses. So it means this will also come in the profit and loss account in the income statement account. So when at the time of uh, when you're running the batch program of close income statement to close your a particular period increase to close your fiscal year system will include this ledger because this is covered under the income statement so before running that particular batch program of close income statement you need to check your all gls all are set into the correct uh, field so this is the most important information to correct your net profit or loss after running uh, before uh, checking uh, before running that batch program to uh, minimize the risk of wrong posting so first you need to run that purge program in the test company after getting uh, desired result you need to run on the flight company so next all the income statements are coming here and if you, this indicate with C it means the closing entry is included either you haven't uh, run your uh, close income statement last year or it means it this is pending or if you uh, in the other way this is uh, possible that if you want to uh, run this on the basis of uh, quarterly or at the end of uh, this period, let's assume uh, we started from 1st of April and we close our company at this date. So we can run this 
also with this closing date. So let us assume for, uh, for a few seconds that this is our closing date to run the fiscal year or the year end process. So you can check with the way and if you exclude system will show this kind of increase and to check this is correct or not this is on a month basis you can also assign the date let us assume you already uh, run a batch program at the 31st March to close uh, fiscal year of 1st April 21 to 31st March 2022. So you need to assign the date here. You can use this way and system will show you the thing. Exclude the balance sheet item. You can assign the filter and you can also use this simplest way or you can send it to Excel by clicking here and uh, yeah print and say the Microsoft Excel you can send it to Microsoft Excel Microsoft Word and let's copy it and I want to include C this indicates that if you if you run that close income statement batch program last year for the last period it will included your closing increase so you can check your closing increase you can check your gl balances by assigning these filters if you want to just check the ledger balance exclude it check by day month or year if you want to check on the balance sheet you need to assign the balance at date or you can uh, keep it as net change and assign here the date so check any of ledger and if you have the ledger number and if you want to check the dimension posted dimension or comment or extended text or uh, if you want to check what kind of ledger entries were posted you can click here so you can view the details you can view the details and you can uh, check the dimensions also see two dimensions were posted in this entries in the first first line entry so you can check by next 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 and you can directly click on here it will not show but you can use this option and check your posted dimension also and next you can check the extended text if you were posted the extended text some kind of comments you can check and the balances is also showing so if you want to check the gl balance this uh, this view this report layout will help you to solve your many of the problems is related with the gl balances and you can send this view to excel also by sending this Microsoft Excel. Now the same concept will run here in the business handle also. So here we can check where we can find the option under the related. Yeah, see GL balance. This is the report layout. You can see the same concept is working here same uh, report layout same view you can maximize this view by clicking this or you can send it to excel open in excel and you can use uh, more options and you can assign the filter also uh, the most common uh, filter is this if you want to assign only the income state because i want to just check the last posted closing increase details so assign the date and maximize it and view your entries and if you want to send it to excel 
send it to Excel. But if you want to check only your close income statement increase, the basic filters are the income balance. Here you can choose income statement, closing increase. In, uh, you can you need to select include, view by, view as, and the main, the important thing, the fiscal year period like if you are uh, if uh, you are using the date format of ddm by way this will work for you and if uh, you are using mmddyy you can use that kind of format and click and you will get the data in the debit and credit column you can check all the data if these are here these entries this kind of entries is posted here you can view easily so thank you for watching trial it out and give your valuable feedback to us by using the comment section thank you